We've got your SSD price check for the month of July. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. So if you've watched my channel before, I do a lot of Apple stuff, obviously, but I also do some stuff on SSDs. I like to do price checks from time to time. We all know that SSDs got really expensive the last couple months, right? So are there any good deals for July? And I'm gonna show you, I have 18 different deals starting with probably the worst. They're not really in order from the worst to the best, but there's a couple sleeper ones in there that are really, really good right now, especially for this time of year, especially when you consider two months ago, they were way higher. So sit back and relax. I'm gonna go through about 18 different deals on Amazon. I'll have links to all these in the description. Let's get into it. All right, number one right over here, this is the Samsung 990 Pro. You can see it. It's actually, this is probably the worst deal, but it's still 28% off right now, 180 bucks roughly. Used to be 250 bucks just a couple months ago. So getting slightly lower. This is a two terabyte version of this drive. The 990 Pro is one of the best drives out there. So slowly going down, and this is one you might wanna pick up if you're really into speed. I think this is up to, like I said, 7,400, 7,500 megabytes per second. Really high quality drive, but let's just keep moving because this is probably the worst deal of all of them. Now, a couple of drives that I love are obviously Western Digital. So over here is the Western Digital Black 2 terabyte. We can see a significant price drop here down to 149, so about 150, 30 bucks cheaper than the last one I showed you. This is 21% off. It's down from 189 or 190. Pretty good deal. This is the 2 terabyte version and you can see it's super fast, 7300 megabytes per second. I highly recommend this drive. This drive gets a little bit hot. You got to cool it right, but still a great 2 terabyte drive for about a hunt. What does that come out to? Like a 75 bucks per terabyte for 150 for two of them. So that's pretty good, right? And it's getting slowly, tol I mean, I guess we can tolerate this, right? Before it was so high, but let's just keep moving because there's a lot of better deals coming up. All right, 10 bucks cheaper. We have another Samsung over here. This is the Samsung 990 Evo. This is the two terabyte version for 139 bucks. So 42% off they're saying, used to be 239. So I think that's something, right? 139 bucks. Now keep in mind, this is the Evo. So a couple different things. It's gonna be a little bit slower at 5,000 megabytes per second. And supposedly the life of it won't last as long as the Pro version. Keep in mind though, you gotta keep this in mind. It's still, you probably will never go through this drive, trust me. I've used an Evo. I actually have a Samsung over there and I've used it for like four or five years now as my main drive, doing tons of editing and stuff and it's never failed. So I wouldn't be too afraid of this one if you wanna save a little bit of money, obviously. So 140 bucks, this is about, what does it come down to? About 70 bucks per terabyte. So that's not too bad, right? Getting slowly lower, let's keep moving on. Slightly lower is my favorite drive of all time. I have it sitting right here. I do all my tests on, I don't know if you can see that. This is the Western Digital Black. This is gonna be the SN770. And one thing I've noticed here, this is the two terabyte version also. I've noticed that all the two terabyte versions of these drives now are a lot cheaper than the one terabyte version. So you really have to go with two terabytes. For example, this is 133 bucks right now. So it's what, a couple bucks cheaper than the last one I showed you. A great drive, SN770 for two terabytes, all right? Down 16%. But look at this, if we go, you know, what does it come down to? 60 something bucks per terabyte. But if you go over here back to like one terabyte, this is actually pretty good, but one terabyte here, let me just see here, it's, what is it, 80 bucks, about 80 bucks. So you're paying 80 bucks per terabyte versus 60 something. So the sweet spot seems to be the two terabyte versions right now. So look for those for sure. You get huge price breaks on them. But this is another one that I recommend. Now let's just keep moving. So here's a, here's if you want a one terabyte drive finally in a good name, here's a Western Digital Blue. Now this is not gonna be as fast, 4,150 megabytes per second. You can see Gen 4. It's called the SN580. I've recommended this drive before. 23% off, though there's definitely some sales here. Usually about 84 bucks. And that's, I've seen it out there recently. Now it's 6551 on sale right now on Amazon. So if you're looking, this is not, you know, obviously you don't need much faster than, let me just put it this way, 4,150 megabytes per second. For most people, that's fast enough. If you're one of those power users and this is not good enough, I understand, but that's still a pretty good price, but let's keep moving down the list. All right, so here's like the sleeper. If you don't care about speed, this is actually a pretty slow drive considering, not, not a couple years ago, but look at this over here. This is this Silicon Power. I recommend this too. I've had this before. Really good reviews on it, 4.6 out of 5. Two terabytes right now, but it's really gonna be a slower drive, trust me. Um, let me just see here, 102 bucks right now. So it's 21% off. 102 bucks, that's like $51 per terabyte basically for two terabyte drive right now. Just a couple months ago, this was like one terabyte, you get almost the same cost, right? I don't know if it says the speed down here. Let me just see if I can't find it in here, it looks like. But I don't know what this actually is. Let me just see here, Gen 4, it's not really telling, oh right here, 2200 megabytes per second. So again, this is kind of one of those workhorse drives. Silicon Power makes really good M.2 drives. This is obviously an M NVMe M.2 PCIe, Gen 3 and 4. Slower drive, but they're gonna get less, you know, they're not gonna be as hot. And that's one of the key advantages to drives like this. They're not gonna flame up and, and cause huge, you know, problems with heating and stuff. So check this out. 
almost only 100 bucks for two terabytes. Not bad. All right, just a couple more expensive drives. Then we're going to get in some really good deals. So this one's actually, look over here. I'll just show it to you. This is the SK Hynix Platinum P41, two terabyte for 173 bucks. Now you're going to say this is pretty expensive, right? This is one of those drives. It's 7,000 megabytes per second, and it's got one of the highest ratings. It's a 4.8 out of 5. And you're going to say, what is SK, SK Hynix? Who are they? They do a lot. I think they make the RAM for Macs. I mean, they work. They have some of the internals and in MacBooks and stuff like that. So it's a really big company, and they do a lot of stuff for Apple, even, believe it or not. So these are actually quality drives. People love these drives. So these are going to be more expensive. There's a coupon right now. You can get a little bit less on this, $28 off this even more. That's actually pretty good right now. But, you know, not really a huge sale, but $173 bucks is, is it's right now. I don't know. You tell me if that's a good deal or not for what you're getting. All right, the next drive is actually another one here. This is a two terabyte Lexer drive. And I always recommend this drive. This drive I have, it's a great drive. This one's two terabytes. It's 7,400 megabytes per second. So a very fast drive. And it's only 139 bucks, 140 bucks roughly right now. So that's basically the two terabyte version. The one terabyte version, like I said, is it was around 90 bucks. So you're getting a way better deal if you get go with two terabytes on this. But this is the Lexor. It's called the, the 790 right now, the NM790. I've talked about this before. So this has come down a little bit. Only here it's saying 6%, but this is usually not that expensive. But you can see the drive slowly going down. All right, so now some good, really good deals. Now, this is more if you're just going to be using these for storage, right? Let's say you want to just offload some of your stuff on like an external drive or something. These are two and a half inch drives. And then I'll go back to some other M.2s coming up. But I have the one sitting right here. This is one of the best deals you can buy like on the internet right now on Amazon. Look at my screen. It's called the Team Group T-False Vulcan Z. And it's a 480 gigabyte right here. Only $27.99 for this drive right here. Performs really well. I actually have it in a sand back there or like a DAS, I believe, a Trektat storage device. Works perfectly. You know, again, this is SATA, so you're going to get about 400, 500, mega, 540 megabytes per second. But for backing up data and stuff, it's a perfect drive for $27 for almost 500 meg, uh, gigabytes. That's one of the best deals out there. Now, the other drive I have right here, sitting right there, you can see it. So over at my screen here, here's two, two 512 gigabyte drives, two packs. So you get two of them in here, 57.49. It's 9% off right now. It used to be 62 bucks. So again, these drives are perfect for like a DAS or like just, you know, you know, just using them for backups and stuff like that for short term backups. Long term, you might want to go on a spinning drive, but I use these kind of for like intermediate backups or I mean, to be honest, they're, they're good enough for almost everything. You can even edit off these if you want to is, you know, it might not be the, the, the best thing you can do, but overall, it's really quite fast. So 57 bucks for two of them. That's a good deal. Let's just keep moving. So here's a good here's one of the best deals. I think if again, if this is going to be raw storage, here's the same kind of drive here. It's called the AX2. Team Group AX2, two terabyte right now, only $96.99. So 97 bucks for two terabytes. Granted, it's a 2.5 inch SATA, but I guarantee this is the first time you saw a price like this in the last few months. Really, really good deal here. And like I said, these drives, I have like three or four of them. I use them for various tasks and some of my like backup devices and stuff. No failures, nothing for me. I can't, you know, obviously you can look at the ratings, 4.6 out of 5, still really good. So anyways, I, I recommend that drive. And then here's another one here. This is actually a really good deal. This is the Silicon Power 512, again, SSD. This is a 2.5 inch SATA device as well. $29.99, 9% off right now. So under 30 bucks for 512 gigabytes. Really good deal if you like Silicon Power's name better. They're comparable, obviously. Um, this is Team Group and Silicon Power. I mean, I don't even know if they're coming from the same factory or not. It seems like they're kind of in the same class there, but they've all worked really pretty good. And then what do we have here? So moving down the line, let's, let's get back to some M.2s here. Here's the Kingston NV2, one terabyte right here, around $60.99, $60 so 25% off. You can see that drop there again. They used to all be about 80 bucks a couple, like a couple weeks ago. So we're starting to get down to that $59, $60 price range. It's about as cheap as you're going to get on a one terabyte drive. This drive is 3,500 megabytes per second. Not the fastest, trust me. It's not the fastest, but it's faster than even like, you know, a MacBook Air or something. So it's it's fast enough for almost everybody. Let's just be honest for once, all right? So there you go, 60 bucks. That's not a bad deal. A couple more here. We got the Crucial. A lot of people don't like Crucial. I have, what do I have? I have one right here. You can see it right there. And I've used this. This is the M.2 version. It's worked perfectly for me. I've had no failure with it. It does have a 4.7 out of 5 and 14,000 ratings right here. You can see it. So this is going to be the P3 Plus. Make sure it's the Plus model 2 terabyte version. 2 terabytes, 124.99 right now, up to 5,000 megabytes per second. That's another good one. Again, I have never had a problem with them. Um, you can see the reviews. They speak for themselves. It's an Amazon choice. So people can say, oh, Crucial sucks. I actually 
think they're pretty good actually. So especially for that cost. Let's keep moving here. They have a four terabyte version. Again, four terabytes went way up. Now they're starting to come back down. Here's a crucial P3 plus, same thing basically, you know, same same one, but this is a four terabyte right now for 237.99 at 5,000 megabytes per second. So I don't know what that comes out to, $60, about 60 bucks, 50 something bucks per terabyte. That's actually a good deal for a four terabyte version. Usually those are quite a bit higher. I mean, they were down here a few months ago, but not lately. That's a good deal. We got three left. Here's a drive now. Everyone asks me, why would I ever buy this? Take a look. This is going to be the EN206, 512 gigabyte. Sorry about that. This is going to be basically, it's a SATA M.2 driver, right? So it's not NVMe, it's a SATA drive. And people say, why would you ever buy an M.2 and not an NVMe, but why would you buy a SATA drive when the speeds are so much slower? Well, look at this. It's 36 bucks. What is this? This is 512. The reason I pick up this drive, this drive is actually 4.6. This is a great drive, trust me. I've used this company before. This drive is perfect for external storage devices where you actually do not want them to get too hot. They're not going to, again, flame out on you. They're not going to, you don't need tons of heat tape on them. It's SATA. It's only going to go five, 600 megabytes per second. You're pretty safe there as far as cooling. So if you just want something backing up, you're taking it to the library, you're working, you want to do your backup there. This is perfect for that. It does not get that hot. That's the key here. You don't want to deal with all that heat on things you just need basic backup on. Um, Two more here, last two here. Silicon Power, one terabyte. This is probably the cheapest one terabyte right now, NVMe. This is now, we're moving back to, actually, no, I take it back. This is actually a SATA. So this is actually a SATA 3. I, I take that back. $54.99 for a full terabyte. How much was the last one? The last one was 36 for 512. Yeah, so this is actually, I think, the cheapest one terabyte I found. I think that's why I put this in here. Silicon Power, one terabyte, A55. I've used this drive as well. I don't have it sitting here, but I have used it. 4.5 out of 5, I've had very few problems with it. No problems with it, obviously, otherwise I'd tell you. But um, one terabyte, 54 bucks. Again, this is creeping down. Not the fastest drive again. I don't know what it's rated at. Maybe it's down here. It's not telling me. But overall, good enough for most, right? And then let's just wrap it up with this last one that nobody's ever heard of before. But again, great company. I believe this company. I believe it's out of Taiwan. I'm not 100% sure. But over here, take a look at this. This is the TimeTech 512 gigabyte portable SSD. This is a portable one, obviously, fully pre-built for you. And it's um, 530 megabytes per second. So they're using probably a SATA, but 42 bucks for an external SSD drive that's already pre-built for you. So you can take a look in here. If you want just something very small like, like this, you can get, a, what is it, 256 gigabytes for 29 bucks. Granted, it's already pre-built for you. It comes with the two different connectors, USB-C connector and a USB-A connector. You can plug in as you need to. And uh, I think, what is this, 42 bucks for that one. And then $67 is the one terabyte version. But I've used this before. This is very small, about four inches by two, 1.5 inches. And these are great backup drives. Instead of buying maybe a Samsung for maybe 50 bucks more, TimeTech, they're actually good drives, trust me. I've used three of these drives really pounded on them and they have not failed yet. So it's a weird company, I know, but they're pretty good drives. Just look at the reviews for sure. All right, we're gonna wrap this video up. This is just a quick kind of, you know, it's the 4th of July. I just wanted to do a price check on all these drives. So I'll do um, the news coming up. My channel is more based on Apple products and I do a whole bunch of, you know, so I'm trying to move more tech in like this. I do a lot of hubs. I do a lot of um, keyboards and stuff, monitors. I've done a bunch of monitor stuff videos. So subscribe to my channel if you like tech in general. If you're a Mac fan, especially if you like hard drives, and we'll talk to you in the next one. I have a couple of videos coming up soon. Over the weekend, we always do the Apple News where I have a drink and we all talk about it. Anyways, let's wrap this one up. We'll talk to everybody soon. Peace.